Okay, I have nine o'clock, so we will get the uh, Board of Commissioner staff meeting for February 11th, 2016. We're at 9 a.m. in the Jackson room started. And number one on the agenda is a continued discussion of increased audio accommodations. And Commissioner Roberts. Um, yes, and this is on the agenda, I assume with my name because I originated um, this discussion on audio being posted to our web page. But I didn't request it to be on the agenda. I understand um, you did, Commissioner Bryant, so I'll let you right, take it on. Take it away. Well, after, um, was it last Thursday, uh, it was Commissioner Roberts, we had a conversation on basically placing these meetings, the audio recordings, onto, onto the internet, so to speak, mm -hmm. so a web page, so people can just click and listen. Sort of like what Bill Meyer does with his podcast kind of concept. Mm -hmm. I wanted to stop and think about it a little bit before I was ready to make a decision. And I've, I've been thinking about it the last few days, did a little bit of research, and I understand it's going to cost so, ten to fifteen thousand dollars, give or take, uh, a year. No, initially, and then once the purchase is, then it's going to reduce down to about eight to ten thousand dollars. Because there's some there's some capital expenditures for software and stuff. Ten thousand five seventy eight, fifteen thousand. The first year. Well, those were those were guesstimations right. by the administrator. It could be higher, it could be could lower, be because we didn't know what the payroll was going to be at that point in time for sure or a staff okay. date. And let me clarify. So, ten thousand five hundred is, is a hard figure you got, and that's for the first. That's just initially, or that's for the first year. That's the first year. And then that was after that, to, annually, do you have a figure? Um, the second plus years was about eighty two hundred. Yeah, drop down to about eighty, give or take. But none of those, and, and Danny admitted in the in the discussion that. Those were those were guesstimated numbers. They weren't hard facts, fixed, and firm numbers um, because we really didn't know what the staff time was going to take on it, I think, or, or if it would increase the FTEs or whatever. But I started thinking, but that really is moved at this point in time in my mind. Um, heck, we have a three hundred. Mr. Dyer wasn't here. Right. No, I know. And that's why I said in my mind that the, the, the dollar amount didn't move because uh, nothing just. Then that does, when I say that, it's not diminishing anybody else's opinion. It's just my, my thought for you. It's fine. Yeah. Um, I just started thinking about it, and the more I thought about it and slept over it and just chewed on it, I go, you know what? We have nothing to hide in these meetings. And we have nothing to be able, I don't really care what people hear or whatever. They want to hear the arguments, they can hear the arguments. Is it going to curtail my argument? No. Is it going to slow my argument down? No. Is it going to change my position on things? No. So I'm just thinking 10,000, 15,000, whatever the number really is, is really a drop in the bucket in a $320 million project that we do every year in our budget. And I'm just saying, I'm in. I'm going to support Commissioner Roberts and, you know, on this transparency piece. And I, I'd like to move forward on it. So I think it's a good idea. Okay. And I can tell you that the discussion or, or consideration for me was never about am I concerned about what somebody's going to hear. It's a public meeting; anybody can come anyway. So there's not never been an issue about what is said here and do we want it to get out of or, or don't we. That was never part of the consideration for me. I just wanted to make sure <coughs> everything. This is, this is not a, a huge amount, but any any use of county resources. I just wanted to make sure we're we're substantiated by a need. And I'm, I don't know how many people will access this, how many people um, you know, watch, watch the, the recorded meetings on Wednesdays. Um, if it's one person uh, and we're spending $10,000 a year for one person's access, I don't know if that's worthwhile. I'm, I'm sure it's more than one person, but do we have any indication, do we have any temperature of how many people are actually desiring this, how many people have made requests, or how many people have, you know, you talked to? That, that I've talked to quite a few people that are interested. The League of Women Voters has expressed a desire to have these on because they can't always make, especially the Thursday meeting. Um, and as I spoke to this on Thursday, I said, you know, some people still are working and cannot make it. That's why we had the evening hearing, you know, and I think that would be a convenience to those who actually still have jobs. <laughs> okay. But, um, and I don't think you put it in and leave it. I think we put it in and, and analyze it, evaluate it. And if it isn't accessed, it, we don't have to continue it. But it is, it is utilized. I think it's a valuable 
Um, so I asked, I asked this to be placed on today's agenda because, I, like I said, I thought about it, and I'm, I'm with Commissioner Roberts on this one. Let's give it a shot. Let's take a look. This isn't the first time the board's ever talked about it. I, mean, I remember talking about this with Commissioner Rasher, but we just kept justify the ten thousand dollars or whatever because that number isn't the new number. I've heard that in other meetings before. Um, yeah, the first estimate was like about seven. So seven thousand. Okay. So. so this has been a discussion from multiple boards, mm -hmm. and I'm just saying, you know, obviously there's some concern about it from other com past commissioners too. We can never justify the money. But now, let's at least try it. It's not like we're not running a deficit budget anymore. We have some room to be able to show this type of stuff. We have, a, we have some opportunities, so why not just at least try it? Well, I'm on, I'm on board with it, and I, and I will put my support into going forward. It had just been my personal experience. I hadn't had anybody uh, request this, but that's just me. If, if there's been uh, ample requests, I mean, I've heard of the request made. Um, and, and I will take that back. I, I guess I did have uh, a request from, from Kevin. Um, so I can't say nobody, uh, but I believe that was, that was it. But again, if, if you're hearing more need and desire for it out there, then I'm behind it as well. It is a fairly nominal cost. I'm not getting a lot of input on this, just like yourself. But I'm, I guess what I'm saying is Commissioner Roberts is saying she is. Mm -hmm. I'm not, why, why would I not give her the benefit of the doubt? Sure. Well, and you heard from the League of Women Voters at our meeting that yeah. inquired about it and was interested in it. Um, our agreement Thursday was to check with other counties to see not how they're doing it, but if it's being accessed, if they are putting their audio files on. I checked with two counties is all I've had an opportunity to do. Neither one of them are putting audio online. So I haven't, haven't anything to bring new to the table on this one. My understanding is nobody does it, but that's okay. I'm fine. There's, there's, probably a, lot of things there's, there's a lot of things that we do are different. If, if you've seen one but that's county, what we you've about. seen one That's right. Yeah. But we had talked about, you I, know. I don't mind being the trendsetter. So I think what we need to do then is, is uh, direct staff to prepare board order um, to initiate that program. Yeah, I don't think we need board order. No. Just, just the actual so thumb. All right. Pro or probably a, a uh, motion. I would, I would move that we um, start placing our, our Tuesdays and Thursdays <coughs> audio recording online for public access on an accessible portion of the commissioner's part of our web page. Oh, I like that. I see that. And for discussion, I want to either, I want to be on the evaluation of that in six months and see and, and have a report of its success or not. So we'll set a date for an agenda item to reevaluate? Yeah, I think probably a year. Yeah. A good time period just because Definitely when, a we, year. when we buy the software, we got it for a year. Yeah, yeah but so I still want to follow it, see if it's if it increased after six months, and I then at a year. I would imagine, Commissioner Roberts, because it's IT and then will show who's clicking on what, you can have a monthly report. Great. That would be, that's that's pretty that's pretty be good. We can, we can continually monitor that. Yeah. And do that okay. All right. Um, I have a motion. And I have a second. I second. Yeah. So yeah. we're ready to take. Commissioner Langfeld? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Yes. <coughs> okay. Item number two, input from county council. I have nothing. Okay. Nothing. And then number three, input from county administrator. Mr. Bragg. Does that help, Colin? Help what? Does that help you? Yeah. Well, I think it's called our board. It's not for me. Well, you're, you're the one that asked for it. She actually gets to listen to them. <laughs> yeah. I would have definitely used it as a citizen. <coughs> I mean, the actual meeting. So. 